as people head to the polls today, some precincts take their roles very seriously and fill voters stomachs after they cast a ballot. Our live anchor Katie and then is at Central United Methodist Church in North Knoxville, where the congregation is running a very unique election day cafe. And let me tell you, Katie, it looks fantastic from here. Oh yeah, we've got to focus on the sweet news of today on Super Tuesday. That's why we came down here to Central United Methodist Church. A lot of people who live in the 4th and Gill area in North Knoxville, this is their voting precinct. And I'm also here with Bob Wetzel. We had to come back here to the kitchen to see the stockpile of all the goodies that go out on the table that we showed you earlier on in the show. But Bob, you have been coming to this church for decades. And as soon as this place became a polling location, y'all said, you needed to do something special. Yeah, that's that's right, Katie. Thank you all for coming out today. We uh, we started our election day cafe probably 20 years ago when the uh, Brownlow School closed. The, the polling precinct was moved down here, and we wanted to say welcome to everybody to Central Methodist Church. And we found it's been very popular with everybody as we do it. So we do it year after year, and it's just a lot of fun to meet and greet and visit with people. I'm sure a lot of people watching at home, me included, um, are like, "Why? Why doesn't my polling location do that?" So it's a very special thing. And uh, where do all of these sweet treats come from who provides them yeah this is truly a unique thing and these are all provided by the congregation the congregation makes all the sweets most of them are handmade uh, they're brought in the, the week before the event and then various congregants uh, sit at our table right outside and serve people and, and make them welcome and you know one of our vision statements is to make Christ known in the community by extending hospitality mm -hmm. and so we try to live up to that on the every time they vote here. Mm -hmm. So 20 years of doing this Election Day Cafe, do y'all think that you're going to keep continuing to do it? Well, we certainly hope we will. It seems to be very popular. Our, our people like to do it. The, the people in the neighborhood love to have it down here. And it's just, it's one more unique thing about Central United Methodist Church and mm -hmm. the Fourth and Gill neighborhood. Yeah. So true. Thank you so much, Bob. And I'm here to test one of the uh, producers who works at Channel 10. She was saying that she used to come vote here, and uh, she's like, it's a good spread. She was not lying. So they've got everything from the cookies, muffin, chest bars, cake, bread. Sorry if I'm making you a little hungry, but on this Super Tuesday, we're not just talking about ballots. We're talking about this buffet of sweets, Brittany. Oh, you can't beat it. All right. Thanks so much, Katie.